take this off my shoulders. All right, so we're getting ready to do a little bit of back lapping and I just wanted to go through what I'm using. Um, obviously, I'll need to have the back lapping compound kit um, and the brush um, that comes in the kit. Um, they require, they call for a stand. Uh, I just made the wood stand so uh, you guys know what I'm using to, to keep the blade up off the ground. Um, I'm using a 3 8 or half inch variable speed. I've got two drills I'm going to be using. Uh, this one uh, to actually turn the blades. I have a little bit bigger drill if I need to. And then this I'm just using the impact to help um, take apart the chain assembly um, structure. Um, you need the half inch square socket drive adapter. Uh, I had to run to the store and get one of these. Um, so that'll fit into a 3 8 inch drill or half inch. Um, and then I got have another one here. Um, that I can use um, if needed, just having an extra half inch um, available. Um, I need a half inch open end wrench, uh, which we have right here. And a uh, smaller, medium adjustable open end wrench. I'm just gonna use the um, vice grips here. Uh, that's gonna be to uh, make the blade adjustments. Um, Smaller, medium, adjustable open end wrench. I'm sorry, small, flat blade screwdriver. We've got the flat blade screwdriver, uh, the needle nose pliers, um, plain paper. Um, this is going to be to test our cut. Shop towels and rags, snug fitting work gloves, and eye protection. Uh, so this is basically all you need. I think the major call out here is when you order this, and I've got I got this off of Mowers Direct. I looked at uh, real um, real rollers as well. Um, and you're just going to need an adapter that will fit into there and then fit into your drill as well. So I just went to my local uh, auto store and picked up a, a three pack that gave me some different sizes. So should be easy enough. So uh, let's get into sharpening. All right, first thing we're going to do is we're going to expose the chain linkage system here using the half inch open end wrench and I'm using an impact just to make this a little bit easier. First thing I'm looking for is um, the slack pretty good. Oil is good on it. And now we need to just find the linkage that is going to allow us to pop this off, which is right there. I've never done this, so this should be fun. Or I haven't done it since I was a kid anyway. That was easy enough. All right, so we got our compound. We got our um, drill set up. Um, it's spinning nice and free, uh, so it should uh, should do pretty well. I don't think it's going to take much to backlap this, um, honestly, because I'm getting a pretty good cut as it, st it stands right now. So I'm not going to worry too much about uh, how sharp I'm going to get it this first go around because I think it's going to be it's going to be pretty easy. Um, one thing I did see Doc do, and I'm going to try this this first time, is just put a real light coat um, on these blades before I get started and then just apply a little bit more as 
as I go. But that way I've got a nice even coat on all of the blades. All right, these say low RPM, so you don't need to give it a bunch here. Just keep it nice and slow, about at the 100 to 150 RPM. So. Okay, don't go real fast with it. said they were pretty sharp to begin with so I wasn't too worried about how sharp I was gonna I needed to get them I'm gonna give these a quick wipe down and then I'm gonna give it the old paper cut test and then we'll take it out clean it off here before we put it back in use I think it's also important to note, I did this on a one setting with a very, this is a 12 volt, this is a very small drill. You don't need anything powerful to do this and I think that's important. It, this isn't about power, this is about getting a nice grind on these blades. So keep that in mind as you guys are getting ready to do yours. So we'll just give it a quick little test here. Oh, that was perfect. Amazing what one little tiny adjustment does. And I got the GoPro down here trying to get a shot of this. It's kind of tough. Cutting good, guys. Right, one last thing I want to do before I take this out and hose it off, and that is I want to grease these zerts. So uh, you can see there's the one right there, and you can see that one right down there and so all we're going to do is take this head and it's going to pop right onto that dirt and we're going to watch for it to come out real close to the edge there shouldn't take much oh it's going to come out right there we're cool I really like these little blocks that I built. Super handy.
Wish all the hashtags, likes and tweets would find a way to get lost Yeah, and when I pull up to the scene I wonder what the hell is the cost And yeah This is different, you had to sort of find some self-comfort So find a way to Since we'll find a 